Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0 release, where we continue to trap these things, because they have no capability of escaping. Um, so what we've done since last episode is overclocked our water pump here, so it can extract enough water for six coal generators, and if all is going according to plan, we should have those six coal generators running smoothly already. So let's go double check on everything. So I set up the uh, pipeline and the coal here. Should all be good to go. Six generators is going to use whatever that is, 90 coal a minute we have. Um, six times 75 is 450 megawatts. Perfect. And yeah, everything's looking good. Except for the part where this isn't connected to my main power network. What did I... I must have disconnected something on my side. There we go. So now is everything gonna run? There we go. Beautiful. Now this still is not enough uh, for my base. We're still relying on biofuel here, but because of the coal power, you know, the amount of biofuel we're going to be using is a lot less. Um, but we're going to need more water, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't know where to get it, because there's no water here. It's pos- I mean, I guess I could go over there the closest water. I might just have to use that. And the amount of coal that we have here is also kind of limited. I'm already using 90 a minute, and we only have a single node up here. The, the grab distance is shorter, I think, than it used to be, and it's a little, a little prohibitive sometimes. Uh, yeah, that's 120 a minute, and I could do... There's not two nodes up here, right? I think just the one. Be nice if there was two up here. Yeah, there's not. Just the one pure node. That's all we get. Um, so until I have Mark Three belts, I can't really do anything more. Because 120 a minute is the best we can do. So I could do another another two coal generators, but no more than that. But, you know, maybe we should get that set up. And I also think I'm going to put... Will I put a roof on this? I think I want to. It'll be a quite a bit of work. That would look nice. Uh, missing cable. Okay. Well, we can do two more, uh, and then the water can come from over there. Or over... over yon. Over yon way. And then we'll need to build some pillars to support this thing, and I think I'll build a wall. And maybe a little bit of a roof. Even if it's just um, a simple, like, do I have those roof, slanted roof things? Yeah. Even if it's just something simple, I feel like it can look pretty good. Um, so like, if we do a wall for maybe three tiles high, I do something like a tilted wall. And of course we're out of concrete, but you get the idea. Something like that, kind of do an angled roof. I think even something like that can look pretty good. So I might do that. I do feel like this used to be, eh, this is pretty fast. 
Maybe part of me feels like it used to be faster than Blade Runners, though. And now it's kind of about the same or maybe even slightly slower than Blade Runners. Overall, I feel like some of the, the movement options have been nerfed a bit. Which again, that could be faulty memory, but th this thing just doesn't feel as good as it used to be. Still pretty fun though, not gonna lie. What's up, Lego? It is going well. We need concrete, so there's that. And I needed cable. Which is over here. Well, it definitely looks like you remember it. Um, it's not different enough that you would be able to notice it by watching someone play. It's very much a feel. You, movement in video games is you feel it. And there are differences that you would certainly notice while playing that you're not going to notice while watching. And I think it's if it is different, it's a smaller difference like that. Now, the slide jumping being worse, I feel like you would even be able to notice by watching. That is certainly a thing. And other people online seem to have discovered the same the same thing that they nerfed slide jumping. So that's a bit of a bummer. But like Dave was saying earlier, it is kind of nice because now you don't feel like you have to slide jump everywhere to be optimal. So there's a, a positive to it as well. Um, gosh, I bet those FMFs, fused modular frames, I bet those would give me so many uh, coupons, fix it coupons, if I were to put those in the the chopper. What's that thing called? Uh, the awesome sink. But I'm not going to. Instead, let me look at my options. I could get a tractor going. More inventory slots. I might as well do this just for the inventory slots. Since I'm sitting here, I need some more rotors, which I can just pull out of my dimensional depots, baby! Nice. Milestone reached. Tractors permit pioneers to move around the world in a manner similar to using legs, except with wheels and the rampant consumption of natural resources. <laughs> they can also be automated to self-drive and deliver resources between truck stations, which in turn facilitate automation of loading, unloading, and refueling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the good stuff. Um, so I need to... Oh, I saw a power slot. Grab that. So, that's not till later. What did I come over here to do? Oh, I wanted to research the hatcher. Just because I can. I don't know if there's really much of a purpose. The remains researched belong to a plant-like organism hosting the larva of the flying crab, the most mature of which hatch when threatened. Hatcher remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Mm-hmm. Yes, all the alien protein. And then the slugs can be turned into some more power shards here. Uh, Lego, the coal power is good. Yeah, that's what I've been working on the last couple couple hours here is getting coal power going, because the the biomass power, I'd say you shouldn't try for more than I did, just because you would end up having to get so much wood to power it. I ended up with, basically if you're running one constructor producing biofuel, you can run up to 15 biomass power plants, and even that might have been too much. Because even after a pretty decent chainsaw trip, it still would only run for like an hour. So. Or an hour and a half, maybe. So I am I am wanting more coal power, for sure. But what did I... Trying to do too many things at once. Do I want the truck? The truck I don't think I want right now. However, I could get the Explorer, and that's kind of fun. So maybe I should do that. That's in the quartz chain. And I can't get radar towers till we get HMFs and computers. And I can't get scanning for hard drives until we get motors. 
But I can do 10 oscillators, which needs cables and quartz, and then MFs, as I call them. <laughs> and I probably will build a dimensional depot, but I need 10 more. Uh, fluxer modulators, SAM fluctuators for that. Oh, but I can't do that because I need pipes. I need steel pipes and steel. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. Uh, what order do I want to do things in? I need some coal. Where's the nearest coal? That isn't the coal I'm already using. I think there's one down. Yeah, there's one down there. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm gonna go get that coal and bring it back to base. Yeah, because we're gonna need that for steel. So let's go do that. Uh, do I have materials for Miner Mark 1? I? I don't have iron plates. That's kind of important. And then I guess I can just build the thing wherever. It is annoying having to craft portable miners. It's not hard. But it's annoying. All right, let's get out of here. If I can jump over all the things, please. And we head south-ish. Over there, okay. It's not very far, actually. 400 meters is not as much as it sounds when you've got Blade Runners. And I've already got power stretched out to over here. Oh, a summer sloop. Well, that's just convenient, isn't it? I am happy to take another sloop to whoop. I get weird, creepy alien words. Probably. It's also kind of convenient, it all just links together. And parachute across. Didn't hear any weird alien words that time. Um, the spitter that was here has respawned, though. I take it. Thank you for your donation. Greatly appreciated. Alright, and then we need to do Mark II all the way. Now this is where, um, is there a way, I think someone said there was a mod for it. They weren't saying you can do it this way. What I want is for this to build onto the stackable poles rather than the regular. And even the stackable poles, okay, the stackable poles you can zoop up. So basically I want building belts to feel like that. I want it to be building onto stackable poles rather than the regulars, but I don't think it can do that, which is kind of a bummer. But it's fine, I guess. Alright, mark two. Basically just going to belt across the entire world here. I could do a truck. Oh, I got a spaghetti master. Oh no. We're avoiding spaghetti this time though. 
But yeah, a truck would really be the only way to avoid spaghetti here. I don't mind a little bit of belt going across the, you know, the terrain. I don't think it looks that bad, especially when it's raised. And we'll bring it over kind of in line with this limestone, or concrete, I guess it is. So this is where I, I wish I could just easily stack these two, and there's not really a good way to do that. Without rebuilding the entire thing. Because the problem, so here's the problem, and maybe, maybe you guys have figured out a solution to this. You want to build belts as far as they can go, but you want to build them on a line of stackable poles. So how do you do that? Because if I if I go to build the belt before I can measure how far it can go, I have to be, you know, actually pulling the belt out. But now I can't just click right here because it's building regular conveyor poles. I don't want that. So what I've done before is I literally build the thing and then I come here and I'm like, OK, well, now I build the stackable poles right here. Or can you build stackable poles on the end? That would be nice. No, nope, you can't build stackable poles on the end. So you kind of just have to switch over, build stackable poles, and then you have to actually connect it properly. It's just kind of a big pain in the butt for something that feels like um, how you want to do something pretty regularly. I feel like there should be an easier process for that. Uh, but as far as I know, there isn't without mods. So that's a little bit of a bummer for me. That's always bothered me, and I was hoping there would be something in 1.0 that would fix it, and it doesn't seem like... Doesn't seem like Fix It has fixed it, and, you know, that just... That's just sad. That's all there is to it. Just sad. Alright. But, basically, I'm just gonna go next to this... Concrete here. All right, so there is the coal, and we'll use that for making steel up there. I need a way to get up on this side. Um, oh, interesting, you can't... Oh, right, I can do it this way, though. If I do that, then I can build a wall one at the top. What's up, Dan Firu? Except it didn't... Yeah, it didn't really give me a jump there at the top. Eek. Come on. Come on. Get me up here. Okay, uh, so then I will... Build a pillar. we can get up here. And this needs to be a dimensional depot. But I didn't make the fluctuators. I thought I did. Oh, I didn't because I ran out of... You know, we just keep running into things, don't we? So I need to build a foundry. That's why we took the detour. It's because I didn't have any steel. Uh, and we need a foundry for steel, and we need to bring over the coal, and we need to bring over some iron. We'll probably get the iron from over there, too. I feel like we have iron all the freaking place. There's so many random iron nodes in this area. There's none for a while in that direction, though. There are these ones. Have I tapped into these ones yet? No, okay, I'll, I'll use these. I think these are impures, but they might be... Yeah, they're both impures. I didn't really mean to shoot that, but I wonder if it works. Can you kill these with other means, or must you hand-chop them? I bet a Nobelisk works. 
It would be really weird if a Nobelisk didn't work. Okay, perfect. Now I need another equipment. Wake shop. To make two portable miners. And then we can grab some iron. Go ahead and plop down a merger. In this case, that looks fine. And then... Hmm. All right, check this out. I have a plan. I right, has a plan. Organization... No, walls. Veyer wall. Uh, I am gonna have to get in and out of here still. But this is the plan. I may need a chainsaw for this plan. Upgrade that to Mark II, just so I don't have to worry about that later, in case I want to overclock. Okay. And then that will come out and up. Probably to, like, here. Smart plating. What's up, friend? We have 583 of you already built up. It's not bad at all. Um, now. Bring the iron over. Yeah, so I don't actually feel the need to use... That one's just a little too far away, though. Hmm. Interesting. So when you put a wall conveyor and then you use the, the lift, it doesn't actually poke through the side, and that does look weird. That's unfortunate. Because what I'd prefer the easiest way to do this. The easiest way would be to put a splitter on the edge like that, and then I can connect to the, the lift and go down, and then do something like that. But how is that connected? Is that somehow in exactly the same spot? No, see, now if I build the wall, that thingy pokes through. Weird. But, that, but it connected to the same thing on the bottom. also just make it a conveyor wall and we can call it a day. Heck, should I just go around the corner? 
Maybe. I don't know if there's an easy way to go around. Let me see. Here and the coal will also go up there. And we'll do some steel smelting up there. I want that to be level, but it's hard to get a good read on whether I am level. I think that's the level instruction. Yeah. I have 12 gas masks left for those wondering. And why are we not getting iron? Probably because of no power. If I had to guess... should enable some foundries. Uh, making steel ingots. Wow. These are pretty high rates, 45 a minute. So I can't even come close to running all three of those right now, but that's fine. Um, let's do... that you know something I should also do more often is just little uh, scaffolding here so I can do stuff like this with a better perspective yeah let me get rid of those and then we'll kind of work it out from here That's not what we want. What? Oh, oh, those are backwards. Ah, uh, I hate when I do that. Is there a way to reverse it? I don't think so. Is there a way to reverse it right now? Um, there it is, reversed. The way to reverse it is to hit R. And then it reverses. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. And this is going to bother me. I could build this one lower. And then that'll look better. There we go. Now it's level. Okay. See, why am I going down? Oh, that's so weird. I was specifically aiming up. Like I was aiming towards that direction and it made me go down. That's so weird. I, I don't know what, like I feel like if I jump on this thing and I'm aiming that way, it should always go up. It should always go in the direction you're aiming. But sometimes it doesn't and I haven't quite figured out exactly 
Why? Uh, well, gravity pulls you down, but it should it should slow you down and then start going back up, right? Like, but it actually was clear it was pulling me towards the downwards because it kept me going fast. Um, because you should be able to fall down and still go in the upwards direction, just like that, see? But it didn't do that, so it clearly had me aiming down that first time. I don't know why. Also, good time zone to you as well, Gaming Strudel. Hope you're, hope you're doing okay. Um, let's see. So, splitter. Nice and close. Yeah, that's perfect. Boom, and boom. Go back to here. Two levels up. Not there. All right. That should do it. What the heck? What did I deconstruct? I deconstructed three things, but I don't know what one of them was. Mark two between the buildings. And for that one, you will go up there. That does not need to be marked two. Pretty quick build there, not too painful. And that'll get us some steel. Where's the power connection? It is on the back left. Okay, got it. So then, power pole right there. Come on now. Apparently, like to be placed. There we go. <laughs> That's really where I want it, but it's hard to aim at the right spot. Now that Factorio has it satisfactory, also needs Control Z. Yeah, not having an undo is becoming more and more abnormal. All right, it still says no power. Oh, you know what? This might not be powered. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, it is not. Um. Probably the easiest way to power it would be to add a power pole connection here. There. And just power that. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely nerfed this. I, like that used to be faster. And again, it's probably reasonable. It was really, oh God, I didn't mean to jump off the edge. Uh, it's probably reasonable they nerfed it because it was really powerful and good, but it's kind of makes me sad because I like to be able to zoom around really fast with this thing. And now it's more of like a convenience than really fast thing, but that's fine. Or am I holding sprint while ziplining? Uh, I have toggle to sprint, always sprinting, so I uh, shouldn't. As far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything. So it's really funny when you uh, when you hit space while you're ziplining. Instead of jumping off, sometimes it just immediately parachutes you. Which is weird. All right, constructors. So this is basically me just making a mall for myself.
can't you make two things? Yeah, steel beams and steel pipes are just directly from steel. So now I've got both. Sweet. And the pipes are three to two. The beams are four to one. That's, I thought I remembered it being not quite that bad, but that's pretty bad. Um, so then I'll do just one for pipes, two for beams. Not like all three of these are running anyway. Those can take 60 steel in, so these will not be running at full speed. This one can only take 30 steel in, so this one will run at full speed, and I'll get the full 20 out. Okay. And then... Power pole... Power pole... Do it and organization. Now we'll just have storage containers, but soon we will have more dimensional of those. There we go. We did it. Steel automation. Perfect. All right. We need a screenshot. That'll be the perfect thumbnail. Perfect. Nope. Not that. That. Aha. Steel pipes. Whoa. Depth of field. Or not depth of field. What's it called when you do this? Just like the field of view. Weird effects. I think it's depth of field. Alright. Um. Yes. That is certainly not what we meant to do. Um. We need this over here. I don't know. My brain short circuited there. This one can be over here. There we go. So that'll be pipes, and these are both beams. Okay, that's better. Uh, the other problem is that this last... I mean, the splitting is going to help. So at most, half of my stuff is going to go to this first one which right now is 30 each. So right now I have 30 steel a minute going to pipes, and then I have 30 steel a minute going to beams. So right now it is half and half. Um, that's fine. I could boost output if I wanted to and get some free steel beams. Um, it quadruples the power draw. Right? I think that's what just happened. It's normally four, right? Yeah, yeah, so that quadruples the power draw. That's not very much when you're talking about a constructor. Now, how does that interact? Does it always quadruple? Let's do some more testing. So that goes to 6.8. I still don't know. I'm so curious what the actual formula is. Um, but does this quadruple it now? 6.8 would go to a little under 28, 27. Yeah, okay. So it does quadruple the power usage. To be fair, um, it doubles the output. So it's really only doubling the power usage per product and you're basically getting free input items, right? So it's still very much worth it. Hey, Stereo, or Strio, Stri Strio, however you want to pronounce it. Congratulations to the Satisfactory team. I agree. The release has been great so far. Very few, very few bugs have been encountered. Um, and really only one that, like, has any gameplay implications. Uh, and I'm imagining they'll release a fix very soon. 
But yeah, we've been waiting, I think, for... Yeah, about six years, maybe? For this game, so it's been a long... It's been a long journey. Um... But yeah, now that we have pipes automated, we can make our own, uh... What are these things called? They're called... Sam Fluctuators. Yeah, that's the thing. And I need 10 of them for a Dimensional Depot. And I'm very close to automating reanimated Sam. In fact, maybe I'll go do that right now. Having reanimated Sam automated would be nice. The Fluctuators I can't automate yet because I don't have manufacturers. But... The R Sam we can automate pretty easily, in fact. Um, yeah, let's just do that right now because we already discovered that it's pretty close to Sam. Um, it's right there. So. Also, why are these green sometimes? I don't know what the green means. The geothermal was green at one point. Um, and now the space elevator one's green. And I don't know what green means. When one of the icons is green. But can we just take a second to appreciate how clean my factory is? If you got... Now, if you watch other satisfactory streamers, um, you know, judge me all you want. And that's fair. But if you've watched me play factory games, this is the cleanest, straightest line, no spaghetti, like nicely organized, th things have aesthetics I've ever built. Um, and we're still, you know, we're like 12 hours in and we, we've, done a, we've done a good job. Um, there's definitely some stuff I could clean up, but it's, it's far, far cleaner than normal. That is for sure. <laughs> I'm disappointed. <laughs> Too clean, not cried ax enough. Hey, you know, there's still a lot of hours left. You know, we've still got stuff like this. Okay, so part of it is like getting things running and then building the aesthetics around it is kind of what I'm doing right now. Because like right now, I still am uh, on a time crunch. Whoops. Uh, and the time crunch that we're on is that I don't have enough coal power. So we are still utilizing biomass power, which means I need to get uh, I need to get more coal power going pretty soon. And for that we need more water. But first I want to get Sam What is it? Activated Sam? Reanimated Sam. Um, but let me get... Where's my power lines? I know I have power lines going across the map here, but where's the nearest? Ooh, I'll grab that slug. Can I just jump up here, maybe? Or maybe I can jump and then... Oh, of course, I run into a rock, so I can't jump. Uh, sometimes you can, like, slide up with your jetpack. you actually hit a ramp like this there we go okay there we go now we can do the stupid slug and they may not seem important but these slugs really add up right each one of these is representing a lot of potential ore out of a miner and it's just really nice when you can overclock your miners without having to worry about you know, having enough shards. So, I would recommend going out of your way to collect the power slugs whenever you see them and not getting lazy with it. Okay. So, this is- oh! That's funny, this is the very hole that we were worried- or not worried, but we almost fell into, and I was like, oh, is that the abyss, or is there something down there? There is something down there, it turns out. There's actually uh, Sam Orr down there. Not Sam Orr, just Sam. Oh, oh my god, I have no plates left. What happened to all my iron plates? Ah, oh, crap. That means I can't even build a miner. Ah, nuts. 
Also, why are there boom rocks right here? Is there a Mercer Sphere right in here? There must be. Um, so we can alt, right mouse button, boom. That's so handy. So that way we can know where to put the booms later. But yeah, I ran out of iron plates here, so let's go grab some. We haven't dimensional depoted on iron plates yet. But yeah, look at how close this is. That's that's all we're gonna have to do for Sam Orr. <sighs> I just called it Sam Orr again. Guys, it's never gonna stop. It's just, it's Sam Orr. I'm gonna call it Sam Orr. I, I think I'm officially giving up. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it Sam Orr. I don't think I'm gonna be capable of calling it anything else. I was just about to put my modular frames into the awesome sink, but I'm gonna hold on to these because my, whatever that stuff is called, frame framework uses one for every two. So I'll, all I need is 500 modular frames. I don't want to automate those. Uh, since this is only a one-time cost, I'm not going to automate uh, versatile frameworks. I might need to automate a huge number of them later, but I'd rather do that when I know the amount I need for the, the next stage. For this stage, I'm just going to spend the 500 modular frames and potentially the three, what, no, six to one. So I need 6,000. Steel beams, that's a lot of steel beams. Um, and then what is that? The, the wiring? Uh, I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, so I need to split off this power line. And go over here. And then this will go down into that hole where we will get Sam. Alpha hog up here. Cool. Oh, I'm out of uh, weaponry. Shoot. We are gonna have to Xeno zap you. Maybe I should make the basher. I jump on your head, my good sir. Ouch. That didn't actually do that much damage. He only did a point and a half. It's more the throwing you off cliffs that alpha hogs can really mess you up with. Okay. Uh, anyway. Back to doing things. So power comes over. That wire's too long. Okay. I can attach to there, and then I can go up. And then that makes this a live power line. And that's a live power line down to the, the SAM down here. And then I'll have to pick up these miners. Which is going to result in too much crap. Let's make a box real quick. You cannot deconstruct these. You must pick them up. Alright, put that away, grab that stuff back. Now we make a minor mark one. There we go. Power it up. Now we just gotta get the stuff out of here. Um, need that guy again. Let's see if I can reach. I might need to find a halfway point to stand. Ooh, a slug! I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. 
No, I don't want to hang out by you. You're poison. Can I hang out here? Yeah. Alright, so... Conveyor lift, mark two. So from here, let's have Mark II conveyor. Oh, you can't just build it right there. All right, so like this, that, that, and then I'll build on the end of that. Mark II. Oh, that's going the wrong way. Shoot. Uh, reverse it. There we go. All right, and then we'll put that. I uh, can't really see. I'm just gonna assume that's about the right height. Sure, that works. Here comes the Sam. Do 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 do. Here comes the Sam. And the same. All right, and there we go. Conveyor lift. Worried about this uh, problem. <laughs> Jump around it. Um, I'll have to move that, I think. Yeah, this isn't even high enough still. Uh, okay. Wait, what? Did I not connect that properly? No! Oh, goodness. Alright, you know, I'll just... Use this like a hover pack. Alright. And then this needs to go somewhere else. Maybe like up there. Perfect. Okay, we did it! And the base is that way, but you know, it's fine. It's facing maybe the wrong way. No, that's going in again. It's still the wrong direction. What is, what is going on here? If I hook something up to this one, it should be the right direction. What is going on here? Because there's no, there's, This conveyor lift is clearly coming up. Like, that's... The items are here, ready to... The conveyor pole shouldn't have a direction attached to it. Conveyor poles are omnidirectional. The pole shouldn't care. It shouldn't. See, that's doing it right. When I build that, it's doing it wrong. Maybe because it's attaching to the pole rather than the lift. Oh, can you not attach a lift to a lift? No, you can. Hmm, I'm hella confused. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. There we go. But yeah, I, I think that's what was happening. It was just connect- Oh no! Falling. Uh, it was connecting to the pole and not the way. But, got it figured out. And now, we have Sam Orr lifted out of the hole. And we'll take it from here with regular belts. All right, I will 
guess bring it back to base. Now, I still need the... The, uh... No, I did the coal. Okay. I need to do more power plants, but I did do the coal to the base. We are making steel. Alright. Be line in it over here. See, this is the this is why we need to increase the dimensional depot upload rate because you can see how slow the plates are rolling in here. It's literally 15 a minute. So if you're waiting for them one by one, that's a bad plan. There is a fly in here that's the size of my face, it feels like. All right, uh, I don't like that. So just for now, I'm going to build a constructor right here. Just to get that uh, augmented act. It keeps flying right in front of my face too. This is the worst place to fly, my friend. Not friend is the wrong word um oh here it's doing that highlighting thing again people have reported a bunch of this happening so that's definitely known by them at this point it seems to fix it fix itself if you highlight it and unhighlight it in the build mode but it's very annoying very annoying um that's also annoying that's going through, so why don't instead we do it this way? And it doesn't clip with anything. Now that should be powered up. Why is that red? Is that just because I haven't picked anything yet? Yes, that's why. Alright, so there's our reanimated. Sam. Just to get it accumulating. 120 a minute makes 30 a minute. Okay, that's pretty nice. So we should be able to run that at exactly full speed. Cool. So now I won't have to handcraft that anymore. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so that's done. And that seems like a good place to call it an episode, I think. We're an hour in. I will keep streaming, so if you're here with me live, stick around. But for those of you on YouTube, and see, it's confusing. I used to always say for those of you on YouTube, but now some of you are here on YouTube live. So as like, how do I phrase that without saying 5,000 words for those of you on YouTube, but not the ones on YouTube live, but just the ones watching the YouTube recording. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. As always, if you'd like to support me making these videos, please head on over to patreon.com slash I can't thank my patrons enough. And I'll see you guys in the next one.